Hello, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, I'm Jessica. Thank you so much for hopping on this video. Today is the first day of the Seven Days of Spring collaboration. This is hosted by Kara Brandon and Dear Julie Julie. If you want more information on what this whole collaboration entails, I'll have some links down below for you, the main video. And basically, I just want to get hopped into this project because I don't know how long it's going to take, but basically I'm working with two different kits, but I'm only working with day or page one of each of the kits for today on day one and then tomorrow on day two um there will be a series of videos where i may be included i don't know if i'm uploading yet but where you can see page two from each kit being put into a project so on and so forth so today is day uh, page one this is kara's first page and I already cut these apart just to kind of save time but this is from Dear Julie Julie's page. So we have an envelope, a little butterfly, and then a few pieces of like ephemera that are just gorgeous. Now I have a general idea but I really don't know what I'm going to do other than make a little mini envelope journal. I thought this would be fun because I really wanted to do some collaging with this kit. So basically yeah I'm going to incorporate those pages together. I'm going to take three envelopes and start with the base of our project and I am going to think about this for a minute here. So I'm going to take one envelope and place it this way. I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to fold this flap backwards and then I'm going to take this flap and just dip it down into this envelope. Then we're going to take that page, flip it over, and I'm gonna take my next envelope and do the same thing. Now, if you're trying to recreate this, you can do this with as many envelopes as you want. You can do this with um, whatever size of envelope, but guys, I'm excited to use these envelopes because these are super sturdy. I got them from Amazon, um, and I just thought that the pretty pink went really well with the kit. So now if you want, you can go ahead and adhere yours down together. You could have done that first. I just kind of like to, I kind of like to see how things are going to line up before. These ones actually have adhesive, so I'm just going to actually see how that works. I think that will be okay. You just got to be careful to slide it down and make sure that yeah, adhesive doesn't grab before you're ready. But I think we're okay. And then I'm going to do that for the first page. So at first when I said yes to this collaboration, I don't have a lot of time and my videos are not like super scheduled if you, um, you guys probably know that if you're not new, but I wasn't too sure if I would be able to make the time because we're also getting ready to go out of town and things like that. But when I saw the kits, I just couldn't say no. And I was like, all right guys, sign me up. I'll do one day. But now I'm trying my hardest to do more than one day. It would be awesome if I could do all seven days. I don't really think I'll be able to accomplish that, but definitely stick around and subscribe on my channel if you wanna see. So hopefully you could see that I took that last flap that came from the first envelope and I glued that to the back. So the back now looks like a whole envelope, but we're probably gonna cover that with some collaging. So then you just have a really simple journal that you didn't have to sew and you put it together in literally minutes. Okay, so I know that I want to start collaging with this. Now all of these florals are gorgeous, but I want to incorporate a little bit of coffee dyed paper and some um, other papers. So I think I'm just going to start kind of ripping this apart. I don't even want to rip this because this paper is so gorgeous, but that's kind of what you got to do with collaging. So let's go for it. We can still make it pretty. And I think I'm really feeling this idea where I'm gonna take my Distress Oxide and go around the edges because I want this, I don't know, I just want this to look very collage -y. So this is gonna help each piece stand out. Now you can go ahead and incorporate laces and fabrics and things like that. I don't have any of those near me, I don't think, but that would be a good idea if I did. Oh, maybe I have a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna start though by gluing these down. You can, you know, get an idea of how you want yours to look. You place everything down and then go back and glue. But I'm just trying to make this 
pretty as quick as I can. So we're gonna go like that. I'm gonna leave a little border of pink. I know that I wanna use some of this paper, so. So I'm basically just going to be tearing little pieces of paper, laying them down, gluing them, and doing that. This journal's not really going to have like a centerpiece, I don't think. Ooh, it might be cool to have like some kind of a label on the front, but I don't think I have a label that I'm working with today, so I wanna to try to incorporate the least amount of other products. Um, other than the kits, so let's see now. I know that I want I'm gonna lay this flat so that it doesn't keep um, Yeah, I think that should work for now. So it doesn't keep flying open. I Don't know how much of this journal. I'm even going to decorate right now, but we're just kind of flowing with it now This is from dear Julie Julie's page and I thought that that looked really pretty for it Not really a centerpiece, but like the center of our page So I think I'll do that, but I'm gonna go back here and use some more of this. Um, and let's see, what else? Actually, let's take some coffee dyed paper. Okay, now I don't mind if these pages overlap. I'm not gonna coffee, or I'm not gonna ink up the edges on this one just because it's already pretty dark colored try to keep that um, border that we have going on all around all around the edges okay and then I ripped this piece off so I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to go through and decorate each page of this journal um, but we'll just we'll just kind of go with it so now that I brought up the idea of adding in textiles and laces I'm thinking hmm should I go grab some <laughs> but at the same time I kind of want to just you know what let's keep this simple I, I never keep projects very simple I'm always like oh let's go do this because like that's what I'm feeling and that's totally fine but sometimes I think it's kind of nice to do a simple project and see what you can make um, you know give yourself a challenge that's what I'm trying to say and this is definitely okay if I wanted that there then I'm covering up that butterfly but I could bring that down a little bit so maybe I will place this here I'm not really gonna glue it down quite yet um, because I don't want to forget so I'm thinking I might actually use this journal for uh, to place inside a journal that I have. I'm gonna tear this up. I know it's an ephemera piece, but I mean, really it's gorgeous and it kind of goes with my collaging, so why not use it? But yeah, I think I'm going to possibly place this journal inside my big journal and add some photos of our butterfly garden. My kids and I are, um, we have caterpillars right now. They are turning into, um, chrysalis I think that's what it's called basically cocoons and um, it has been such a fun time watching these caterpillars change every single day and not even just every single day every hour they're different and we've been taking pictures and my kids have both been just really excited to see the changes and so um, I've been doing a little bit of journaling and photo journaling and so I think that it would be kind of cool to use this as almost like a memory folder. Yeah, I think that's what I'll call it, a memory folder. Because the vibe really kind of speaks to me. Okay, I'm going to get this piece super dark. And I think I'll go like that. I'm just going to put that down right there, I think. So yeah, I only added the three envelopes to this because like I said, I didn't want it to be a full size journal. I think having just those three envelopes will be the perfect size for me. I might change my mind on what I use it for, but I think that's what I'll do. Okay, I feel like we're gonna need some more coffee dyed paper. Okay, so let's see. Maybe. 
Okay, I'm gonna tear that. Dang, I hope this video is not too long, I'm just realizing. So I just glued that down, but then I'm thinking like, duh, I need to put things underneath it, so. <gasps> Why did I do that? I'm gonna go like that. <laughs> it's gonna be okay, all right. Yeah, I feel like I need to break this up a little bit, so even though I really want to use all of the printable, I wanna also make sure that it's not like too much all one same tone. I want it to look a little bit, little bit more collage, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I know I told you guys that I wasn't gonna use anything else, but you know what, I have some lace right here. I'm just feeling like it does need a little bit of something and yeah, it's not like I had to go far. <laughs> yeah, we'll use a little bit right here. I hope you guys can still see me there, okay. And I need a little strip of something to break this up, so let's see what we got with Dear Julie Julie. Okay, oh, maybe some text would be good. So like, I'm just gonna, yeah, that looks good. Okay, ink up the edges. At first, when I was deciding what kind of project could I do with just two pages of a digital, I was thinking of doing kind of the same idea, but using a manila envelope. So I just wanted to point that out because if you want to do something similar and make a little mini journal folder, you know, th you don't have to just use plain envelopes. You can use things like this right here. Fold this, and this is a beautiful piece to start collaging on so okay so now that I used that piece of lace I'm almost feeling like I need to add just a bit more of it down here and then we just need one more little piece down here for our collage and I now have a ton of this left but don't worry we're gonna use this for um, the inside of the journal too I think so I might not do collaging inside the whole journal I'm not too sure but let's if I hurry myself up, we can tr maybe do that together. Okay, so let's do it that way. I'm just going to glue on what might be our last piece. And then I'll need to add more glue. Yeah, I really shouldn't have glued that down yet. I think sometimes it's hard to talk and film and craft at the same time. Who would have Who would have thought? Okay, so I have a little piece right here, and I know it's not a big deal, but it's kind of like bugging me. Just a little piece of pink peeking through. That's okay though, let's keep it. Okay, then I'm just gonna add some glue all along here. Would totally be fun to sew this collage piece, but that wouldn't be too easy to do since it's an envelope and I wanna decorate on the other side, but that's okay gotta stay simple sometimes Jessica <laughs> okay I think we're good here I really like this I'm almost thinking of adding this second butterfly I know that there's a lot of butterflies but like do we want that do we not do we want that do we not do we want it up in the corner no just because like I said I think I'm gonna use this as like my little memory folder for our growing butterflies so I sort of just want that to be everywhere. Maybe, let me take a little bit more of this real quick. No, you know what, I, I like it how it is. So, okay, let's take our ink, ink up the edges. I really like how this looks. These are just such gorgeous kits, like just so easy to work with. So, oh my gosh, that is really pretty. Okay, we're gonna open it up. Now on Julie's first page, she does have this envelope. I obviously already cut it and uh, folded it up a bit. I wasn't too sure to, if I wanted to use it as an envelope or you know, you can really cut it apart and use it as just paper or um, journaling cards, but I decided I'll go ahead and use it as an envelope right now. <laughs> so I just glue that together real quick. 
I'm gonna ink up the edges, and so now we can decorate the inside of our journal. Now, as you can see, since you made this out of envelopes, you already have built-in little pockets here, so that's cool. Um, I think, like I said, I'm gonna try to not make this whole inside a collage, because I want space for there to be um, me, me to add, I wanna be able to add photos or journaling and not have it be too done up on the inside. But I am gonna add this little envelope. I just paint, uh, <laughs> glued the flap and I'm gonna put it right here. And then this would be a good spot for me to, I can flip that open and add some photos or journaling cards. I think I'm going to add some, let's see here. I kind of want to decorate this a little bit more. So, oh, since this page has the butterfly, I'll go like this. And I think I'll just glue that on right there. Oh no, my camera battery is blinking. Don't do that to me. Yep, I think I'll just go like that. I'm, so I'm not gonna have the whole page decorated, but there'll be, you know, little bits and pieces to kind of get me started. Just go like that, glue that on. And then this next page, or I guess this would be the last page, but you know, since you have all of those pockets, you have plenty of space. I think I'm gonna use this as like a, well, okay, I was gonna add it right here as like a tuck spot, but you know what? I don't like tuck spots in my journals. I don't know why I always put them in there. Because if I want to put a picture, I'm not going to tuck it in and then, I don't know, it just doesn't look right to me. But this would be a beautiful journaling card. So I think I'm just going to maybe just tuck it in right here. And then it would be a great spot for me to do some actual journaling. But I'm just going to have it popping out like that. Will that stay? No, that won't really stay. Well, I'll get some washi tape. We'll do that. Okay. And I have, let's see. I'm just gonna go like this and I guess I'll just hold it in, in place for now. I can move it as I'm actually decorating the journal or whatever. And then this could be a little tuck spot also, but do we want that? I can't help myself. I feel like I have to use some more of this paper. It's just too pretty. Not too. Okay. I think I'll just turn this into a little pocket and I'm going to use my staple if I could find it. It's right there. <laughs> I'm actually going to staple this on like this. But see, then I can just glue on the three edges like this. So I know this is kind of the same thing that I just said I don't like, a tuck spot. <laughs> but it's a little bigger. So I think I could actually hide something away and then like put a picture on top. I don't know. I like decorating tuck spots. I just don't. Okay, anyways. And then we're going to go back here. I think I don't want to over decorate it just because... I like to decorate as I go, so I think that's all I'm really going to do, and I just really think I almost used up most of the pages. Gosh, I feel like I just want to use more. Oh, you know, I could just use this as a background, but didn't I say I don't want to decorate it too much? <laughs> okay, well, you know what we'll do? We'll just add a little bit more to the back here. We'll just collage the back, and we'll call it good just too hard not to use all this gorgeous paper so I stamped this and then I dropped the stamp but that's okay because we are going to cover most of this but I just wanted a little bit of stamping to peek through and I'm just using the brown paint that I have here not paint that's ink Jessica okay and then we're just gonna finish up Let's see, like I said, I want some of that to show through. So let's go like this. I'm trying to go fast just because my camera is about to let go. So I'll just place 
this here. And I should have inked those edges, definitely. It's not too late, ever. Okay, place you back there. Do a little bit of the ledger paper. I love ledger paper so much, I don't know why. It's just fun to work with, and especially for this kit, I feel like um, they go together really well, like the colors, the greens, and okay, we're just gonna go like that. I mean, this is a little bit, a little bit different than what I was envisioning, but that's okay. I love the front so much, and I just wanted to kind of make the back match a little bit. Okay. I'll probably glue those down a little bit better after I'm done. And then let's see, I feel like I just need... Ooh, I like how this bottom part here has a little bit of black. All right, here is the finished little memory envelope journal, memory journal, whatever you want to call it. I love how the front turned out. Such an easy kit to work with and gorgeous, and they seriously did so well working together because these kits just work together was so nice. And then the insides, I kept, you know, somewhat blank so I can put my own spin on that when I get to it. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe to my channel. I will be trying to participate in a few more days um, of this collaboration. And of course, if you want to see any more, um, just follow Kara and Julie, dear Julie Julie, so you can see others working with this kit and see what they have to offer as far as different projects go. Okay guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!